Millions of toll paying customers statewide will soon see chunks of cash deducted from their accounts. Payments haven't posted for two weeks when the Florida Turnpike started the process of merging several independent toll systems. But the contractor with the $600 million contract ran into major issues. Investigative reporter Darlene Jones discovered there have been concerns about the contractor for years. Conduit was not the number one bidder. In fact, it was ranked third, even prompting a lawsuit by the number one company claiming nepotism, but that was dismissed. Still, it managed to get a massive contract anyway, despite issues on other major state contracts. Five million drivers rely on a transponder, allowing them to travel with ease on the Florida Turnpike. They, along with half a million e-pass customers, are now fearful chunks of cash will soon drop out of their bank accounts. Say, I'm reporting $26 and I sh show 18 and it should be a little lower than that. Conduent, a New Jersey-based company, is working to merge four toll operations statewide. Lawmakers now demanding to know why the company couldn't predict the system jam that put toll transactions on hold for two weeks. Nine investigates went to the Turnpike office only after repeated requests to speak with leadership and an offer to make a spokesperson available. Instead, the agency sent this statement apologizing to its customers, answering few of our questions related to holding the company accountable. We tracked down the vice chair of the State Transportation Committee in Tennessee, who did speak with Turnpike Executive Director Paul Way. They are holding the vendor to the fire. Are there uh, stipulations for fines, for penalties? The big one is that if they don't perform as required by the contract, their contract will not be extended or, or renewed. A seven-year contract representative David Santiago first raised concerns about before it was signed in 2015 because of a series of nine investigates reports. It's just very disturbing because here we have a company that has had problems in the past. We issued them a multi-million dollar contract and now they're failing to deliver again. Conduent was born out of a company called ACS, which was a part of Xerox. In 2015, FDOT was forced to stop payment on its contract for a Sunwell ticketing system. Lynx tells us the company still hasn't fully delivered on a contract for its ticket vending machines to track passenger counts. Similar issues emerged in Denver, Nashville, Cleveland, and Philadelphia. Later, we uncovered in Texas, it also had problems with its toll collection system run by Xerox. Well, whoever went into the contract and signed it on behalf of the state may be in for a challenge for the future. Former Turnpike Executive Director Diane Scacchetti signed the deal. Her signature found right here. She now runs the New Jersey Transportation Agency. Just to be clear, the initial contract was signed with Xerox, but Conduent is no longer a part of Xerox. This contract, which we spent some time reading through in part, precludes Conduent from speaking with the media, and so they declined to comment.